In this video, we are going to discuss about velocity tankers diagram for Kaplan turbine, where we will formulate work done, hydraulic efficiency, mechanical efficiency, and overall efficiency of turbine. And also, we will see working proportions of Kaplan turbine. The Kaplan turbine is an inward flow reaction turbine in which water from guide wells comes with velocity V1 to the runner at a certain angle and this angle is known as alpha. Here D1 and D2 are the outer and inner diameters of runner rotating at an RPM. This inclined line V1 is divided in two parts. One part is horizontal and another part is vertical. The horizontal part of this V1 line is known as velocity of wheel VW1 in horizontal direction and another part that is vertical part of V1 line is indicated as VF1 means velocity of flow in vertical direction. On this velocity rectangle, we add another two velocities that is velocity of blade U1 in horizontal direction and relative velocity of jet VR1 at an angle theta with the horizontal direction and this angle is known as blade angle at inlet. So here we have completed inlet velocity triangle for Kaplan turbine. Now we will draw the outlet velocity triangle for Kaplan turbine. So in Kaplan turbine, water coming out in axial direction means outlet angle beta is 90 degree and when the beta is 90 degree, the velocity of water at outlet that is V2 is in vertical line because suppose this inclined line V1 completely vertical at outlet then horizontal part VW2 will be zero. That means V1 and VF1 lines are same at outlet. Therefore, V2 equal to VF2 and VW2 is zero. Now next we indicate the relative velocity line at outlet. So this inclined line is relative velocity line VR2. It makes the angle phi with the horizontal direction. So this horizontal line is known as velocity of blade at outlet that is U2. So here we have completed velocity at angles diagram for Kaplan turbine. Next we will move to the work done equation for Kaplan turbine. So work done per second for Kaplan turbine which can be written as with this equation where Q is discharge through nozzle in meter cube per second which is area multiplied by velocity. Here positive sign is taken when beta is less than 90 degree and negative sign is taken when beta is more than 90 degree. Here maximum work occurs when beta equal to 90 degree where V2 is minimum and VW2 is zero. Therefore, equation for work done per second is reduced to this one and work done per second per unit weight of water is given by this formula. Now hydraulic efficiency of turbine is given by formula that is power developed by runner capital P divided by input power or water power where capital H is net head on turbine. So here rho q rho q get cancelled and we will get the formula for hydraulic efficiency of turbine and mechanical efficiency of turbine is given by sharp power divided by power developed by runner and overall efficiency of turbine is given by sharp power divided by input power that is rho g q h and it will also equal to hydraulic efficiency multiply by mechanical efficiency. Here hydraulic efficiency of turbine is ranges from 80 to 90 percent. Now next we will see the working proportions of Kaplan turbine. Here the method of drawing velocity diagram and the expression for work done, power, efficiency for Kaplan turbine are identical as discussed in case of Francis turbine. And working proportions are also obtained in same manner as for Francis turbine. However, following important points to be noted for Kaplan turbine. In that, first is tangential velocity at inlet and outlet are equal that is u1 is equal to u2 and it is given by formula pi do n by 60 where do is outer diameter of runner and the ratio of it to diameter represent by small n is given by dv minus do where dp is diameter of hub and its value ranges from 0.35 to 0.6. The speed ratio is the ratio of tangential velocity at inlet to the theoretical jet velocity called as spotting velocity that is under root of 2gh. Next is flow ratio. It is the ratio of velocity of flow at inlet 
to the theoretical jet velocity called as spotting velocity and the value of flow ratio is 0.7 for coupling turbine the area of flow at inlet is equal to area of flow at outlet and is given as pi by 4 to square minus tb square and also velocity of flow at inlet and outlet is same that is vf1 equal to vf2 and discharge through runner is given as q equal to area of flow that is pi by 4 do square minus db square multiply by kf under root 2 gh where kf is flow ratio which is 0.7 specific speed of coupling turbine is given by this formula where p is sharp power in kilowatt next is velocity of reel vw1 can be calculated from the equation of hydraulic efficiency next is to calculate guide blade angle alpha and the blade angle theta from inlet velocity tangle so we are applying the equation of tan alpha that is opposite side by adjacent side the opposite side is vf1 and adjacent side is vw1 or to find tan theta the opposite side is vf1 and adjacent side is vw1 minus v1 and to calculate blade angle at exit that is phi we are applying the equation of tan phi which is opposite side by adjacent side so by using all these equations we are able to solve problems on coupling turbine